meteorologist David Burgett. Well, welcome to the new week. We are starting this week off on a relatively chillier note this morning, but still above average for our overnight lows. Typically, we're supposed to be hitting single digits for the beginning of February, but right now we're seeing clear skies here that are still keeping our temperatures around the region into the 20s for us this morning. But despite what the radar shows, we are having some clear conditions at the moment. I think this is some more higher level clouds, higher in our atmosphere that the radar is picking up on. So it's a little bit more clear towards the surface. Visibility this morning is reduced here in Rochester and along I-35 for some patchy fog as our temperatures and dew points around the region are meeting each other in some areas right now, like and then Austin and Mauer County into Freeborn here in Albert Lee. So some of us could be seeing that patchy fog develop this morning as we see those temperatures and dew points getting closer together. High pressure for today is going to be building into the forecast for us here and we will keep with us today for some a little bit of sunshine in the forecast for some more partly cloudy skies this afternoon for us. So that's going to be the great thing to start this week off a little bit more sunshine in that forecast for us. But this morning we have to get through that patchy fog and those quiet conditions. Before we get to more, be more mild today in terms of our high temperature and as we get into this week, we'll be seeing more 40s for the highs and potentially into the 50s. So that warming trend that we saw last week in the beginning of end of January, beginning of February is going to be continuing for this week here for some warmer conditions, almost 20 degrees above average or more. So this morning winds are going to be out of the northeast. That's going to be sticking with us for today. We'll be warming up, I believe, into the lower 40s and upper 30s by this afternoon afternoon. By the time we get into the later afternoon hours, we could be seeing temperatures peak into the 40s here, mid to lower 40s all across the region here. I do think it's over projecting on this model based on the cloud coverage that we'll be seeing for this afternoon. But for later tonight, as we make our way into the start of your work week through the early morning hours, we are going to see temperatures take a dip back down into the mid 20s to upper 20s all across northeastern Iowa and southeastern Minnesota for you. But in temperatures tomorrow, we, I know we breeze past that really quickly, but you probably saw some 40s flash there. But we'll be seeing temperatures back into the 40s for tomorrow as the start of this warming trend as we get going into the week. We'll see temperatures again on Thursday pick up into the 50s here and even to the upper 40s here by Wednesday. So the warming trail will be be significant until we get to a little bit dip about 10 degrees here from Thursday to Friday. Well, it's well, we'll get some rain coming in there, but first we'll have some wind, windy conditions with some wind gusts into the 30s on Wednesday and Thursday and then some sand winds into the upper teens for us. It'll be slightly breezy. Like I said, we are going to be seeing some rainfall, some more isolated to scatter conditions right now here on Thursday for some rain. So all those warmer temperatures won't give us any type of uh, snowfall this week or wintery, wintery mixed precipitation. But we are going to be clearing out at least for today or we'll have some cloud coverage in the forecast temperatures into the 40s here and even into the 40s for tomorrow for some more mostly cloudy skies in the forecast for the start of your work week. But again, on Thursday, we are going to be seeing windier conditions even on Wednesday and the chance for some showers for more isolated to even scattered conditions. So pretty much in all in all, not a bad week here, Charles. Yeah, if only that day we were hitting the 50s, it was sunny because the past <laughs> week when it was, everybody was out and about. People were at the parks playing tennis on their motorcycles, right. biking. It was like that was the last day of January, and I'm like, this is yeah. not ordinary. Even though it'll be the 40s, we will be seeing some people are going to be out this yes. week, probably at the beginning half of the week. With that sunshine, that really makes all the difference. It really does. It really does. All right. Thanks.